manipulating data arrays. On this block diagram, I have a small pair of embedded for loops that creates an output source array that we're going to be using for uh, this demonstration. You can see that the value consists of a series of um, cells in a 2D array with three rows and 15 columns. We also have two output arrays that we can look at the results on. The first thing we want to look at is how do I get a portion of an array to work with. So if I go to index array and drop index array and tie it to my output array, okay, you can see I have, I have two indexes here. Um, one is for rows and one is for columns. We're going to create a constant and look at column number one. We're going to take the output data and wire it to our 1D array output here. Flip over to this, execute it, and you can see that we have value 1.0. 0 0.02, 0 2.02, 2.02, 3.02, which represents the first column of the source data. We can likewise use the row index and do the same thing. And you can see that we get the entire row of what would be the first row, the row one. This is row 0, row 1, row 2, column 0, column 1, column 2, etc. We can also go in and specify both the exact location, in this case 1, 3. Notice that I my line broke. We're going to create an indicator so we can go out and see this single element right here and if we execute this you see we get element 2.04 right here which is row 1 column 3 remember everything is based based off of 0 another thing we can do is we go back to our index array. Index array will allow you to drag down in this respect. And now what I can do is wire this one. Go off here. We're going to go look at this value now. Notice we get the middle array here. We get the middle row. If I go back, break this line, and oops, and rewire to the first one, I'm now going to get the first row. Notice that there's the first row that I've got now. And if I would like the third row, for instance, I could come down and pull this guy to the third row. So this is a quick, easy way that I can get access to all three rows of data at the same time. I can also go in and replace elements. So if I go in here and say I want to replace an element, I'm going to replace values at, we're going to create the uh, value row 3, sorry, row 2, create constant, oh, let's say column 4, and we're going to put in a constant of 0, and we're going to run this into our manipulated 2D array output right here. We're going to execute this and you can see that what it did was it filled the manipulated array with everything that was in there with the exception of this cell right here which it replaced with zero. So you can see we took 3.05 out 
and replaced it with zero because that's what we told it to do. I could change this value to be anything within that array, for instance, six, and execute. And notice that I get the original array with just that value replaced. That demonstrates how to replace an element in an array. One last thing that we typically have to do with these very commonly is to transpose the array and move from row method to a column method. We're going to execute this and you see we have a column now and we'll pull this down and notice that you can see that we've gone from a uh, row based array to a column based array. That is basic array manipulations. There are all kinds of functions in here that you can do to get array subsets. You can look at uh, max and mins in the arrays, all kinds of things. And these are things that, that you can very easily do and should be able to do in arrays. That's it.